and a slightly different Monday in that I'm going to Madrid for a conference at the European Space Centre. Uh, so here I am at the airport, um, as always, went to the gym first and packed my stuff up and had a uh, bus ride to the airport as the trams aren't working at the moment. Checking was fine and now I'm about to explore the, uh, the new refurbished business lounge and we'll see what that is like. The new lounge is very nice. The carpet is very springy, um, nicely refurbished, nice and clean, but I'm not sure that I would pay 45 euros to spend a couple of hours here before my flight. There is, however, certainly a lot more room, which is nice, and more power sockets, so facilities are certainly better. at Helsinki only takes 20-25 minutes or so and then at Helsinki there's the never-ending walk along the uh, Schengen terminal with hardly any travelators a very long and dull walk however when you do get to the end it's quite nice because there's uh, a lot of uh, eating places although you do have to uh, sell a kidney in order to afford any of the food there now coming round there are the, uh, the stairs up to the uh, lounge which is uh, where I will go and the lounge itself when I was there was amazingly quiet. Sometimes it's so full that it's standing room only but this time it was nice and quiet and you see it's actually quite nice. Uh, food selection is not as good as in the, uh, uh, the non-Schengen area but it's fine for a short wait and uh, as you see there this time there was plenty of room so no problems at all and there was the flight um, another um, airbus same sort of plane as i take to the uk and this one and iberia airways taking me all the way to madrid on board in uh, business class a uh, nice uh, carver which was uh, very welcome nicely chilled enjoyed that and then they handed out a, a nice menu card for the for the food which was um, which was nice. Um, good introduction to Spain, starting to get the, uh, the Spanish food, that was lovely. And the food when it came was absolutely fine. So um, I really enjoyed the, uh, the meal and it, it um, made use of the time quite nicely by the time we finished it. Um, there we were and arrival in Madrid. Um, the weather very much like I left Tallinn actually and it really wasn't much warmer at all. And on arrival in Madrid Airport, um, no bombs at all going through with the uh, Schengen and everything else. Um, lovely airport, nice, big, um, spacious, and uh, I just followed the signs for the uh, taxis, uh, which was uh, which was actually fine. And when I got there, there was actually somebody saying, "Here are the official airport taxis," so there was no problem with uh, being scammed by some unofficial cabs. And taxi driver, although he spoke no English, I pointed out which hotel I was heading to and he took me there and it was a flat rate of, I think it was 33 euros to get there. Good morning, it's Tuesday morning and um, I'm trying to make my way to the Space Centre for the first day of the conference. I've just left the hotel and walking to uh, the bus station, um, passing a very grand military building which looks magnificent uh, which looks as though that's the uh, the army um, air and space or something um, my Spanish is uh, uh, all forgotten now but it looks uh, looks magnificent and uh, there's an even an aircraft sitting there in the front as a uh, as a gate guardian and so I shall uh, continue walking to the bus station which I found last night as soon as I arrive from the uh, from the hotel so at least I know where I'm going 
and, uh, and the big thing will be finding the bus and uh, finding how much it is and then finding the space centre. So uh, off we go. Oh, and uh, just uh, looking around, there's, a, um, there's another rather nice, um, rather nice building there, an arch with a, um, a rather grand, um, looks like a TV uh, area or something behind it. So we shall start walking. Uh, here's the bus station. Um, getting getting busy now at about quarter to seven in the morning and queues gathering for the various buses quite a good system where there's each of the each of the bus bays and the doors seem to open only when the buses arrive so now i need to try and find uh, my bus 623 Uh, nice bus ride on a sunny day, but not particularly uh, warm. I, uh, I think that I might have found a, uh, a space centre. Um, either that or they've got some really good satellite TV. So uh, let's investigate a little bit further. Oh, there's a nice castle, uh, nice castle on the hill. Inside the space centre, there's lots of advertising, uh, lots of models of the satellites which uh, uh, the space centre is involved with. And on arrival, of course, there were some nice, uh, nice snacks. Those uh, plates on the wall are all the previous missions, and those are also um, underway and planned. So this was the uh, the snacks um, while we waited the start of the conference. And um, halfway through, we had lunch. It was. Um, Lovely day, it warmed up a bit. There's the um, uh, medieval castle there, which overlooks the site. And we had lunch on the rooftop of the, uh, the conference building, uh, which was lovely. We had um, Spanish paella, obviously, but um, more dangerously, there was also wine. So a sunny day, lots of paella and wine was a bit of a danger. Um, and at the end of the day, we had a tour of, um, of the site looking at the, uh, the satellite tracking dishes which are, uh, are in use and also around the site uh, interestingly they've got models sort of half scale I think these are of, uh, of the satellites which uh, they've been involved with the missions which gives you an idea of the, uh, the complexity and the design and also the size bearing in mind that uh, these are I think um, half scale um, there's our tour um, pointing out um, all the unique attributes. This one, I think, flew quite close to the sun. That's why it's got that sun shield, as you see to the, uh, to the left. Uh, fascinating. Um, there's another one, another satellite, which just shows how big the solar panels are. Uh, the further away from the sun it flies, the larger the solar panels have to be. Um, so how all that folds up and goes into a rocket is very interesting. And this uh, is a 100% um, life-size scale of Gaia. Um, and uh, you get to walk around the, um, uh, the solar panels looking at uh, the satellite which is uh, life-size which is um, also quite uh, quite interesting and puts everything into scale as you see it and this uh, guy is mapping the solar system and the evening of the first day we were taken to a, um, yeah, yeah, a lovely uh, outdoor restaurant where we were um, fed more tapas and it was uh, fantastic there was uh, so much, uh, so much food and drink that they almost had to force feed us by the end of it. Okay, so my Spanish adventure is coming to an end. I'm now at uh, Madrid Airport, uh, working our way to try and find the Terminal 4S. Um, taxi ride, fine, and hotel, fine. Um, all good so far. And, um, and I understand there's a train ride which takes me from the main Terminal 4 to 4S. Certainly the, um, the airside shopping and all the facilities here are very, very good. And, um, and my Spanish is coming back nicely and uh, I would have remembered everything that I've forgotten just as I arrived back in the UK. So now let's find um, Terminal 4S. The lounge in Madrid Airport is uh, also very nice, uh, looks very new, is um, light and airy, um, lots of good food, um, too many donuts really for my liking, um, very difficult to resist all of those, but as you see it's a um, very large lounge and um, nicely air conditioned and it was a nice place to wait for the flight.
Well, here I am at uh, Heathrow, uh, having made it. Um, the uh, flight from Madrid was fine, no problems at all. Madrid is certainly a nice airport. The flight was uh, finally two and a half hours. Um, however, when we got to uh, UK airspace, we uh, circled forever uh, waiting to land. When we landed, we had to wait for a gate and then we waited an age for luggage. So um, this bit has been the worst part of the traveling so far. But hopefully uh, once my pickup arrives, uh, that part of the journey will be fine and uh, we can enjoy the weekend. So here I am, back at the UK, about to meet the people who give me the best welcome ever. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Teddies. Hello. 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 Thank you.